Hey, David, good evening. Hi, Garcia. Good evening. Let's just wait a few minutes for the rest of the class. How was your day today? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what about you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kids nowadays, <laughs> they do that all the time. Like, eh. How do you feel? Eh. <laughs> Want to do something to have fun? Eh. Okay. Man, life changes so much when you become 40. All the responsibilities between 30s and 40s is like, man. You, you talk like an old man. <laughs> Yeah, lately I'm on that mood. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just nothing seems to fit me, you know. I don't know. Could it be the so-called middle life crisis? <laughs> the middle age it... crisis. Oh, mi mi middle age. Or is it later on? No, this is it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Middle age crisis is like forties. And I had my time on the when I was thirty five, five six years ago. I had that 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 it was terrible. It was horrible. I mean, I wanted to leave the house, and I left the house actually. <laughs> I just wanted to be alone, and I was alone for four months. But it helped me. It helped me a lot. You grow up. You grew up. Do women have that face? I don't know. Mm. Like, I think, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm preparing something for you that I had seen a long time ago, but it's a brief of the, the, whole, the whole video. Just a minute. Yep, this will work. So, are you facing any challenges at work? Everybody. <laughs> okay, Fernando, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Uh, I'm tired, you know. It's, it's Friday. Another crazy, another night crazy Friday. <laughs> Studying <in> English, <laughs> and it's so hot here. Even though it's raining, I guess. No, here it's not raining. Only, uh, a little rain. You a little shower. Little shower. A little shower. No, only a little, a little shower. So it's it's hot. How to increase with that? It's crazy when it when it rains just a little, you know, when there's a little shower and right after that it goes away, the heat comes and 
it's worst. Definitely. All, all the vapor, all the vapor all of the day rises up and it's hotter. Look who's here. Oh, but she might have him she might be having dinner, right? <laughs> hello. Hey, hello. Good evening. How are you tonight? <laughs> Eating. <laughs> oh, no, that's coffee. That's not food. No, but with uh, bread. Coffee and bread. Huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your meal. It's okay. Hey, William. Thank you. Oh. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I see. I told you I yesterday, I, yesterday I couldn't get couldn't connect to the class teacher because today I needed to go to the to the site to switch. Ah, there was a misunderstanding. I went to the office. I went to the site. I switched the computer. They made me to go from one building to another. Got they made, they made me go. Uh huh. Uh -huh, they made me go from one building to another because they now use also uh, offices in the level seven for the building beside concentric. Yes. So I needed to test my computer right there. My passport didn't work. So I needed to go back and go up to the four uh, to the fourth floor. And then after I returned to the other building, another thing didn't work. So I was going around between those two buildings. And you know what? The funny thing, at the end, uh, I took the computer that I tested and it was supposed to work uh, very well here at home. And when I was uh, almost arriving here to Santa Ana, uh, I, I was texting to my manager that I had a, a tiny, a tiny, com no, tiny, 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 computer. tiny computer, I'm sorry, tiny computer, and then they gave me a monster, it's so big, it's so heavy, and I was, ah, I, because I, I went in the bus, uh, the thing is that when I was in the middle of my way, returning to my home, my boss is texting me saying, you know what? They gave you the ground computer. It was supposed that you have another one. Oh, come on. You were supposed and to get another one. To get another one. And you know also what happened when I took off all my stuff from my uh, from my backpack. That's mochila, a backpack. Uh, the power cord. I left it right there. So uh, I must go next week again to do the process again. Do they give you a webcam? I have one, but it's not working. That's the reason why they are switching the CPU. But my webcam is just uh, detecting, for example, if I have a cell phone near to me. It's not recording. It's just taking picture. Exactly. Taking picture when uh, you are talking over the cell phone. Wow. Or in case, yeah, or in case detect that someone else get into the same room you are working because it's just for security and it's wow. taking just pictures. Yes. It had happened that some other teammates, uh, the the lady or the the one that helped them at home with the assistant with cleaning and stuff like that, maybe it's mopping or doing something else, and just getting in for something and click the picture. <laughs> <laughs> but that that function is enabled while you're working. Exactly. Just if, when the computer if, is, is on, uh, if I lock the, the screen, it's not... No, no, no. But what I mean is, can you use the computer for other purposes that is not job-related? Hmm? Oh, it always will be turning on the camera and watching the sec for security purposes if you have a mobile phone and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or if you are eating, uh huh. If you are eating, those three things, the CPI compliance. Right, right. I know, I know. But my, my, I'm surprised actually about this. Now, can you unplug the camera? 
unless that I put something in the <laughs> in the uh, how can I say in this the hole in the camera? No, it's but a... still, I mean, it will be active because that. Oh yes, of course, I cannot block it because it's uh, working through an app that is handled by the admin team, the IT team. Mm -hmm. But it's not recorded; it's just taking pictures. No, 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 I understand. For... For me, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no problem about that. I mean, um, uh, me, for example, I have a wall on my back. So, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, for example, uh, sometimes I use the job, the work computer for other mm -hmm. purposes. For you other know. purposes, exactly. I can use it as well, but in, e either if I'm working for other purposes, I don't have any issue to use the computer for other purposes. The thing uh, is that the same situation, if the, it detects, the dash can detect that I have a mobile phone, even I'm not talking ooh. with them. You know, one day- They one contact day, you or what? Hmm? Do they call you or what? Uh, there is a process and they can also uh, make you to sign up a, a DA. I they can know. give you a warning, yeah. yeah. A warning, that's right. Mm -hmm. Because his policy, remember, and you know what happened one day? It was so funny. One of my colleagues, one of my 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 partners, he was watching a a party, a game, and the TV is in front of the place where he works. And what, while he was watching the TV with the remote control, he was in this, and, and he made this position with the remote control to just the picture because he thought that, that it was. I have mobile phones. <laughs> it was so funny. Man, that's yeah. extreme security. Uh, that's no, extreme it's security. okay. For me, it's okay. If they make me do my dash card in order to work from home, awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. I avoid to continue commuting. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know how things work in a more <laughs> secure environment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let, let me do the attendance. We are, what, 10 by now? Let me see. I, do I see double today? No. Yeah, I do. Okay. <clears throat> so we are 10. Okay. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Um, if you don't mind, could you stay 10 minutes at the end of the class, Fernando? Sure, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gracia Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Present. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Is there Jose Osmin Rivas Navas? Present. Great. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Tonight, Juan Miguel Brown Mejia is out of the country. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Not today. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Excellent. Okay. So for today, um, I I like to hear your personal opinion about a topic that has, uh, how can I say this, has always caught my attention, you know, in terms of, well, there are two videos, but the first one is, is just about something that we tend to do and we don't even realize. And many times we, we just don't pay attention to it because there is someone in our brain making us like avoid that topic. It's like, no, don't do it. Ah, don't do it. Don't pay attention to that. Okay. I'm going to give you a brief uh, of that video. It's not the whole video. There's another um, full video. It's like 14 minutes, but we're just going to watch a very short part, like three minutes. So you can give me your opinion about it. I really want to hear what you think about it. Okay. So on your WhatsApp, you have the link. I'm sending it as well through the Zoom chat. and. I'm gonna give you five minutes so we can watch the video and another two minutes just for you to uh, think about your words and I'll go ask one by one, okay? Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, three, let's go. Okay.
Okay, that was seven minutes. <laughs> That's very short, actually. The real video is like 14 minutes. But he talks more about what really happened, how he had to prepare his thesis at the university, and, and time goes reducing little by little until he reaches the deadline. And three days later, three days before the deadline, he wrote 90 pages mm. and took them to the campus and... <laughs> It's very funny. So what's procrastination? What is a procrastinator? Is the, the, the act, let's say it in this way, that you don't do the task or anything you are supposed to do. Could be anything, not only homeworks, could be something for your life, uh, health, um, it's something, a process, I think that must be done, but you uh, postpone it. You postpone it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another word for uh, procrastination is to delay something. To delay. To exactly. postpone. That's the word, yeah, to postpone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you think, um, guys, the rest of you? Um, I don't know. David, have you ever been a procrastinator or you're chewing? Hold on. Gracia, have you ever procrastinated in your life? All the time, teacher. <laughs> I, I I think I like the... the uh, I feel inspired when I get a little time. And I have the monkey brain. <laughs> we love adrenaline. <laughs> we love adrenaline, but the adrenaline is not given by the uh, monkey. Uh, it's given by the panic monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but I, I do something. I I, I I read, I read, I read, but I, I don't write. So I, I need to do some some investigation. I, I read. I, I like to read. That, that is, I read, I read, and... And I think there is another thing that I like to do, think. Mm -hmm. Think and think and think. And when I need to write, uh, my brain has uh, some um, clarifying ideas and and there is no much problem. But uh, I, I can start at the beginning to write and I says, it is impossible for me. I, I start maybe one or two days before this is a problem. Even though the the, the students uh, test quizzes, I do the last night, <laughs> and uh, obviously I I tell the student what is uh, the subject to be test, but uh, I, I have my brain. When I need to write, I don't have a problem. I I get the the exercise. Uh, it's, and but, that's because uh, you already have the experience, but when you yes, have a, yes. this is more like, well, what you're mentioning, right? You have uh, exams the next day and you prepare the test one day before. <laughs> yeah, that, that's painful, actually, sometimes because you don't rest enough. You end up yes. with anxiety uh, knowing that you have to finish that and, and wake up early in the morning. Okay. Gracia, I, I believe Gracia works in, based on deadlines, do you? Yeah, I do. Just today, I I finished uh, something that I have been procrastinating and was supposed to be done in two months. Ago? No, no, no. I mean, like, in the t time... Uh, in two months. Like, I, I was supposed to You had to two months it. to finish it. And what was the deadline? Today. Today? And I, I, I did it all today. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, I think this is a common problem for all of us. Yeah. It's a very common problem. Does anybody have a special story that we'd like to tell about when this happened? William, have you ever procrastinated and and, and things went right? <laughs> because... Yeah, I'm all going procrastinating. Uh, all... <laughs> yeah. For example, when I have to do exercise. <laughs> The whole time I am procrastinating. 
But you know what? He talks about uh, this other monster, you know, which is the, the procrastination <inaudible> monster. And, and it's when, for example, uh, my students on basic and intermediate levels, I, I push them to do their homework because I have a special homework on basic levels, which has to do with grammar. But I push them, right? And and I always talk to them about this, this thing. And you will feel identified by this. Before the class, one hour before the class, you sit on the on the desk and you go like, okay, I'm going to do my homework. And then your mom calls you and, hey, uh, dinner's ready. Uh, oh, okay. And you have time, family, right? <laughs> family time. You eat. And then, oh, the homework. You go back to the desk. Okay, let's do this. You sharpen your pencil. Okay. Then, oh, water's coming. The clothes. Okay, no, 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 I have to sit. And then, oh my God, I gotta go to the bathroom. Have you watched, uh, and the... Suddenly, 11 p.m. Oh my God, I'm so sleepy. I'll do this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Have you it watched happened to me yesterday? <laughs> Gracias. Have you watched SpongeBob uh, episode where he, he 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 spends all the day, the whole day, writing down an essay? <laughs> I like think that. I did. I did. I, I I used to watch SpongeBob very often, uh, and and you're gonna laugh about this, but you're gonna feel like you when I was younger, like 21 or something. I remember I I I used to work at the cinema. Um, at Reforma, Cinema Reforma, and I used to overnight because I was working and studying my bachelor when I came from Santa Ana. The thing is that I was so tired and I never forget this. I went to bed in the afternoon um, and I fell asleep. When I woke up, maybe I, I slept for an hour or two, but when I woke up, my mouth was filled with water and that's why I, I, I woke up and that happened to Patricia to Patrick in an episode it's, I never Mama. forget that. it was saliva oh my god and that has never happened again to me but I was so tired it was really ah. funny uh-huh so I was like what what, what happened right I was about to get drowned I, oh my god I can't. I couldn't believe. I, I. I. Then I picture. You know. I. I. I just imagined the, the newspaper tomorrow. Right. A kid just passed away because he drowned with his own saliva. How do you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, this really happened to me. I, I was at the university, and I had to study for a parcial. Right. A very important test. And. I loved my career so much. It was part of the first classes, I think. But I, I, I had, a, I didn't have the time to study. I was, I was working at the same time. But I said, tonight is the last night. I have to prepare for that exam, so I'll study the whole night. And so I did. Just one day before, I studied. One hour. Then the next day. Two hours before the, the, the exam, I arrived to the university. I spent like one hour talking to my classmates about the topics. And then for an hour, I focused on reading what was important. And you know what? I did well. I, I got an 8.7, I, I think, something like that. But that was a miracle. I mean, I think I was lucky because everybody else was <laughs> ever since my classmates were like, oh, my God, this guy's smart. Let's talk to him. You know, let's become bodies. And I was like, uh, that was a, just love. You're right. I don't know what the situation happens when you study like one hour before. It's, maybe it's because you have fresh all the things. I don't know that that situation happened. No, it's what I was telling David. You know, it's based on your experience. If you know about the topic, and this is the deal your brain is smarter than what you think your brain is capable of doing things greater than what you think right now it is absorbing information of course the older you get um the less you use that capability that keep an eye on that because the older you get the less momentum 
you have. And what is a momentum? Is 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 a sparkle. It's just a spark on your brain. It gives you an idea. And if you, we typically don't hang on to these ideas, but when you do, great things happen. Let me tell you a successful story, but without mentioning names. In 2007, I used to have a friend working at Atento with me. And this guy was very hyper, just like me. So we were very good friends in that term, you know, in those terms. So one day I was talking to him and I said, hey, you know what? Just what we were talking about last night with Wilfredo. Uh, we're running out of employees in the call centers, don't you think? It was 2007. Don't you think it would be great to have a special bucket where call centers could go and pick up, you know, just pick people randomly? Okay, let's test you. Let's have an interview right here. Let's hire you because you have a decent level of English. So we will train you further. Or even given the topics, you know, of the call center helping the kids to get a job. Yeah, that would be great, we used to say. Now, seven years later, 2014, he started looking for me, you know, like, hey, would you like to learn how to teach English? And I was like, no, nah, I'm studying foreign relations at, with a hair, right? I had just married like seven years before. And so I was fine. What, two years later, 2016, I found him and he was the founder of, I will say, the best academy in El Salvador, uh, after English Corporativo, of course. So yeah. <laughs> he he stuck, he stuck to the idea. He got the idea that we both had, mainly me, but he got it and he never let it go. So if you have an idea, stick to it like... Oh my God, like a label of a letter. I forgot how to say yeah, estampia, like a stamp to a letter. Stick to that idea like a stamp to a letter until you reach the destination. So he did it. And he I guess the name of the company of your friends has sure, a number. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so the thing is that. <laughs> he did it. And you know what? He took his idea to many other places and they used to call him crazy. He used to tell him, you're crazy, man. You're, you will never reach your dream. That's impossible. Who wants to know about this business? But he made it. And we worked together for a few years. And in the end, it is what it is. And, and I'm happy because, you know what? I'm the kind of person that uh, gets happy for for other people. So if, if his idea or our idea, whatever, was able to succeed, I was like, well, I lived to see an idea that I had as well, like become true. Even if somebody else did it, that's amazing. It's benefiting a lot of people. So that's great. That's the way it is. The same thing happened with the idea of making pizza with scramble eggs. It worked for the guy. That's awesome. He made it. So... If you hear an idea from me here and you take it, take it, go ahead and make it come true because that's the deal. It's easy to have an idea, good, but to make it come true is, is really hard. I used to tell him later, hey, you know what? They just opened another school and it's just identical like, like yours. He was like, yeah, let him be, yeah, let him be. All of these other schools broke, you know, they went on bankruptcy really fast because they didn't know how to succeed. They didn't experience success. So think about it. I'm talking too much. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So tonight's conference is very entertaining. It's called Discuss Sustainability Strategies. And this is on your workbook. We have a task to complete on page 20. I'll go ahead and present the page so you can believe me. It's not that I'm making up things. I I, I have fun when I hear some co-workers, some teachers saying, let's invent it. <laughs> no, no, you don't say that. Okay, let's don't, I'm not making up things. That's the word. 
don't make it up, okay? I'm not making it up. So here it is on your book on page 20. Oh my God, what am I doing? Hold on, show video panel, I can see you now. So page 20, um, it's a group work. You have to browse online for a successful case of a social business. Example given, in case you didn't know, that's the meaning of EG. If you see on a textbook, I period, E period, that's in example. This is in English, okay, in example or example given. The Grameen Bank, Good Wave, is that wave? No, we, Good Weave, that, that's not the way you spell wave, I think. APO, PO, Amazon, okay, etc. Say etc. Don't say etc. It's etc. 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 That has achieved sustainability, both financially and in the impact they bring to society. Now we need to investigate. We need to do a research right now and identify its purpose, identify its beneficiaries, identify um, is it beneficiaries. Summarize its success story. Just make a little summarize. Um, Analyze the strategies the business has applied to achieve sustainability. Example given, did it alter the actors involved? This is key because when you are in a project and you start a project, the only um, parameter that you will have to identify if your project was successful is how much people um, lives, people's life in this context, you touched, you know, how many were really um, affected in a good way. Okay, in the system, they intervened, they intervened, intervened. Did it come up with innovation in the technology present in the system, they intervened? So how was it affected? Um, I don't know, it's like talking about a project that takes place in Soyapango. I mean, did it work? How was it? Did it work? You know, wh who were affected in a positive way or was it a negative impact? And then you have these three key questions that we need to solve at the end of your investigation. Has their successful business model of the business you chose been escalated, scaled, I'm sorry, in other countries, regions? Um, what's the definition of scaling again? Look at the context of the word. Going to the next level? Mm, it sounds like that, but look at the question. How has their successful business model been scaled in other countries or regions? Okay. Replicated? Replicated. In this context, that's the meaning. Yes. That's right. Which will be some difficulties to implement a project similar to the one you chose in your country? So then we do a comparison. How about implementing this here in our country? I was part of this uh, government startups. You know, I went to some meetings here in Mexicanos on the sede here of Mexicanos. And they involved all of us on bringing up ideas to the table and we we found a great idea on how um, communal community markets are made in in Tuscany I think it was but it was an Italian city how the mercaditos used to work there is different very clean you know very decent and everything so that model, could it be applied here? That's the idea of the second question. What would you suggest to counteract those difficulties? Hmm. Contract, contract those difficulties. So if there's any difficulty to apply the model that you found, the strategies to our country, how would you overcome these difficulties? In other words, so you can investigate about any other business if you want, a sustainable business, I'm sorry, a social business, or you can take any of these examples, uh, these three examples. I'll split you in three groups so you can work together 
And at about 9.15, we're gonna start uh, presenting these ideas. Okay, maybe 9.20, but you gotta work. Now is your turn this time to do a presentation, you know, to work with your classmates and come up with your results to the class. This is the end of our third week. Two more weeks and we're done with the module and you will graduate from English for work. Questions? Are we doing a thesis? Uh, maybe. <laughs> There's a chance. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Maybe an essay. Just like Gracia was saying, you will be like Bob Sponge running around trying to do your essay in one day. Where's it? Oh, geez, she's okay. So I'm going to split you. Do you have any questions? That's on page 20 of your workbook. Questions? No? Oh, okay. Good. So we're 10. We're going to be in trios, basically. Let me just move David. Hey, this is good. Jarvin, Jose Osmin, I need you to work, uh, I mean, to, to participate with your classmate on the trio of where you will be, okay? So let's go, guys. You have until 9.15 to finish your presentation, okay? Two and three. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Bien, les invito a todos a que participen, no dejen solos a sus compañeros. Let's go, let's go. Wendy, Liana, Francisco, you go on the same team with David. Please join the group. Darwin, you go with Jose Osmin and Gracia. For, I was moving to a a quiet place because I have my desk in the in the living room and you know the family is dining right now so <laughs> they are watching I don't know some movie I guess mm -hmm. and the nice yeah they having dinner okay okay well let's talk about the project uh Let's discuss the project page 20, right? Yeah, page 20. He said, Yeah, page 20, I guess. Yeah, 20. Okay, okay. I don't know. we need to choose any project, right? That we know. No, uh, Sorry, my internet is failing. That's why I'm turning off the camera for times and times. Okay. But yes, it's just about you getting an idea of a social enterprise that already exists. Investigate, research about it, how they made it. But, but it has to be something that it's already there, uh, an existing social enterprise. Ah, okay. Thank you. Hmm? Social business. Yeah, maybe in your company. <laughs> <laughs> They do a so they do they they have a social program right now. A company. Uh huh. Yes, they they have social social responsibility programs. Like they recollect clothes for for people, or they have even for recollect money for help some school. Mm. But. It's not a, it's not uh a, a I guess that they can they can do more for for people 
For me, for example, for the employees. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, okay. I, I, My I company can't. has uh, programs that they teach English and they support students for other schools with English classes, English support. And then they do often go to clean a lake, for example, Ilopago Lake or Patateque Lake. But they make the call out that people get reunited one day, one place, and they just do it. Mm, there are different projects, but there is no like one project that is established and could be replicated. Maybe just the teaching English. I don't know if William has or no any other program or Dora in their company that we can take as an example. The company are selfish and they don't have any. It's selfish. And Dora? Yeah. Or maybe a project that we know. I don't remember the project. There are many projects in, in, in El Salvador. Uh, uh, for children's basic. Let's take one of those in order to uh, discuss and try to find out. I I know how uh, uh, the uh, unit is a uh, is this a uh, ONG? Mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, this on the head is a uh, uh, support uh, uh, children's is a uh, give a uh, education for kinder and parpularia. Then mm -hmm. they they uh, uh, give. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So I'm currently doing a presentation on Grameen Bank. Which sorry, is one what? of the examples of, I'm sorry? What do you say? I'm currently doing a presentation on Grameen Bank, which is one of the examples given, one of the mm -hmm. options. So I'm just pasting information from the, really pasting information from the website. Uh, have you checked out the page 20 of the workbook? No, I haven't. So I'm going to be sincere with you and I haven't checked. Okay. However, <laughs> So I I wanna have a, like a problem. So yeah, my cell phone is dying. So you see. Okay, go ahead. What is happening? It's purpose. I lose. I lose the audio. I don't know. Uh, do no? you okay. do you hear me? No. Uh, something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. Okay, I I found a uh, good information about the Grameen Bank. Uh, in this page, uh, save uh a in the in the objective of the project. Yes. Because uh, uh, the activity is uh, identify its purpose, identify its beneficiaries. For the first time, it's purpose. Okay. The second uh, beneficiaries is then summarize okay. its success story. And the fourth one is analyze the strategies the business has applied to achieve, achieve sustainability. Example, did it alter the actors involved in the system by intervening? <clears throat> did it gonna be the innovation in the technology present in the system they interpret? Tres, in the, the, the first is, its purpose is what we found before, is uh, providing access credits to, access to credit it enables individuals to start or expand their own small business, generate income, and improve their standard of living. I think this is the purpose. Providing access to credit, it enables, enables individuals to start or expand their own small business, generate income, and improve their standards of living. I okay. think that is the purpose, the first questions. Uh, okay, uh, I found a, a complementary information in, in, in this place say, uh, the project to uh, examine the possibility of designing a credit delivery system to provide banking service targeted at the rural, at the rural poor. Okay, can you write the chat, please? Um, give me a sec. Because this information, uh, I watch in the work PC. <laughs> I try to, to share this information. Give me a sec. Okay.
pieces. The purpose is to elevate poverty. That's providing. Okay, we need to do a, a presentation. David, uh, yeah. yes, uh, yes. Can uh, send the the link uh, to the to the your WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Your your phone is seven seven four nine three zeros and two two. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, PowerPoint. Hey, David. Okay. The link in your. Ramming research over the history. Okay. Excellent. Can you look for a, a, a there is in, in this site, there is a, a maybe a, a picture. Can you look for a picture? Sorry, David. A picture for, there is, let, let me see, there is a picture here where you are sending. I need a picture of the other one to put in the presentation, but there is no picture. Picture of the van. Grab your bag, I, I look in there. In the, yeah, the Google. Grab me back. Features, my Okay, I have one grabbing back. Maybe uh, tell me in your WhatsApp. Uh, I send uh, uh, for for me. This is the the purpose of the of the project. Uh, and you sending a credit delivery system to provide okay banking service. To... Okay. Uh, I think uh, this this information uh, uh, can. Uh, complete with your with your with your information. That okay. Is... Ramin is only the... Ramin Bank. So, Dora, can, can you put in the chat what they do, please? In a text, and I put in the presentation.
So I have the I have the logo. What do they do? What they do? Trying to find like a phrase or something, but it's Mm. Assist, assist the kids of community around their facilities until six years it? old. No, Dora, right in the chat. Um, they get a bra breakfast and lunch. And why, why is a social business, Dora? It's free or it's a low cost? It's a free or what? It's free, the, the, the service or? No. Why is social, social? So maybe we can, we can, we can need, no, we need to put in the presentation. I guess the it's also that... because they, they provide with a voluntary uh, donation, right? From the parents or they? They, they breakfast and, and they receive the donation of the the donations from other the people's uh, the people's um I don't know al tourist al turista I don't know what to say al al turista uh, al tourist al yes al tourist <laughs> Yes, is the donate ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Some people donate a uh, one hundred dollars. Okay. Is the your economy? Mm -hmm. Okay, people people donate money, but but the 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 donate. I don't know how to say donadores. The name people. Donors. 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 Donor. Okay. Donors don't use the, the service. They they only donate donate the, the money. No. There are uh, companies donating donating food or sometimes donating uh, materials for 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 construction, uh, uh, for example, uh, egg egg no is a producer the egg donate eggs, uh, avicola donates chicken. This is uh, this is a in a form. Bonbon donate pan is a there are help a uh, 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 association. There are uh, some examples. Mm -hmm. Okay, company company is the name something for for the yes for the for the 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 the, 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 the NGO. <laughs> yes. Egg, bread. Okay, but uh, if I need to use the, the the service, if I need to 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 go with my children, uh, how much how much uh, how pay. much they charge? Uh, how much I I I need to pay? Fifty. 
50. 50. 50. 50. 50. dollars for monthly. For month. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. I don't understand. It's a social business, but I need to pay. Is it, is it because the, the donation is no enough for for the uh, uh, for the sustainability the the association? They are to the donation are only for the children for brain fights for lunch or material for for homework material uh -huh. material is the, like a books for for children's and i pay for for teachers for uh -huh. yes for teacher mm -hmm. okay but it's a service for for um, I don't know how to say my children can stay all the day in the in the in the school or in the Yes, I I I children is the stay in until forty four PM. Four PM since seven. Seven. So, okay. All day. Okay. So the main point is that they provide food, right? Not only education. Yeah, they provide food and material for for homework to mm. to the children. But uh, the donation I use, uh, the donation are are for for the brave fats for lunch. And companies donate they they products, for okay. example, Avicola donate eggs. So they use the the, the the donation for for get a healthy a healthy right because they don't permit uh junko junko food. I don't remember. And then the other part will be to oh. Do you think we 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 if we implemented Mr. Junos's um idea here in El Salvador, we will face the same difficulties as convincing big banks to loan money to the poor, being becoming a middleman between big banks and local villagers? And personally guaranteeing loans for the poor? Do you think that will happen? Can you hear me? No, no, I can't hear you very, very well. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, do you think if we implemented Mr. Genesis? Uh, strategy like um, loaning money to the poor will we face these difficulties oh, if yeah. we implement it here in El Salvador? It would be difficult. If I am the same. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay.
Did you find this um, on the internet, the, a social company? Uh, I took the first example. Oh, okay. That was in the workbook. Okay. Grameen Bank. Gra Bank. Okay. Yes. Their web, web page has viruses. It's from India. <laughs> so I think the mommy antivirus recognizes it as a virus cell page. <laughs> okay, let's just the strategy is for sustainability. Is the first one is Uh, his model of business, social business model, on addressing social issues rather than maximizing profit. This unique approach. Okay, Francisco, are you there? The first one, social business model. The second strategy is, let me see. Small cell health group. A group lending model. A group lending model. This a group lending model. Oh. A group lending model. A group lending model is I need to find what is this group lending model? Group lending, group lending. Group lending. Okay. Okay. Blending the budget to use a group blending model will form a small form. The borrower for small self help groups. This is a strategy for mutual support, peer monitoring, and effective support. Oh. Higher loan payment rates in producing the products. Okay. Ooh, another one. The third one is women's empowerment. Okay. Women's empowerment. Three. Women's government. Okay. 
Ya me pegan por place, strong emphasis. Place, a strong emphasis on empowering women through access to credit and financial service by targeting, targeting women as primary beneficiaries. Women place a strong emphasis on empowering women, on empowering women through access to great definitive service by targeting women as primary beneficiaries of trans to promote gender equality, improve women's socioeconomic status, and break the cycle in communities. Okay. Good. I think we got it. Next, what? Hello? Financial literacy and training. Financial literacy and training. Financial literacy and training program to borrow by enhancing the entrepreneurial skills. Financial literacy and training. I don't know to say that. What I mean by provides financial literacy and training programs to the world where we're enhancing their entrepreneurial skills, financial management, and awareness of social issues. The funds equip them with the necessary tools for sustainable, sustainable development and long term success. Wow. The next one. Technology innovation. Next one. Bye. Ramin Bank has embraced technological innovations to expand its reach and streamline its operations. For example, it, yes, it has it has leveraging file banking and digital payment systems to reduce costs and facilitate access to financial services. Okay. Another one. Okay. Six. Number six is. Replication, replication in
Mm. Okay. Good. Ready? Remember that the whole point of this exercise is for you to speak and for me to help you with anything if it is needed, even though at this point, um, most of you speak perfect English, you are capable of communicating what your ideas or, you know, without too many grammar errors or anything. So don't be shy, just talk, talk, talk. At the end, I will let you know if I found any common error among the group so we can um, attack it on the next class or today as well. So who wants to go first, if you're ready? Group number one is Ana Claudia, Dora, Fernando. Group number two, Gracia, Jarvin, and William. And number three, David, Francisco, Ileana, and Wendy. Yes, if you want, we can start. I'm just going to In share. Order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Ana Claudia, whenever you're ready. Okay. We don't have a, like a presentation itself because unfortunately, uh, I don't have office suite, neither Dora. <laughs> Computer oh, okay. And also, uh, and also Fernando, but we can share on the screen the project, the picture of the project in the social media that we want to talk about. Is basically okay. okay, I agree with that. Just for the future, you can use Google Docs, I think, uh, the drive, Google Drive, right? Gracia, it's so Gracia using PowerPoint through the drive, okay. I think. I think that's possible. Okay, good, good. Do what you can, guys. Don't worry. Yes, Dora, I guess it's going to start, right? Eh, Asociación Casa Maternal, Pro Casa Maternal, eh, assist, assist a child the eh, first infant, first infancy in the eh, communities vulnerable in. The objective is keep a child, a children, oh. a, a, a good education. They use a method of uh, Montessori for education. And they uh, give a, a breakfast, breakfast and, and lunch for a uh, healthy uh, food for children. This is the basic object of the Casa Maternal. Claudia? I guess Fernando is the next one. <laughs> yeah, it's me. And I'm going to talk about the, the, the donation programs. They had a, a, a voluntary program for donation. People can donate money. Uh, you can donate $1, $2, that, the amount that, that you want. And companies donate product, for example, Avicola donate eggs for for breakfast because they get a healthy breakfast uh, and lunch. They doesn't allow junk food, and it is a good option for for people with low resources because uh, parents pay some money, but it's it's cheaper it's cheaper than private school, so. Since sixty years, I guess, and they operate with with this morality modality, or with this program. Ana Claudia. Yes, and the important thing is that with this they make sure, uh, because this uh, uh, kindergarten education is uh, in place in communities or. Uh, part of the society or in the city that they are vulnerable in uh, what they make sure is to avoid that these kids start working uh, since they are shy because uh, needs in the family uh, always will be there. So they uh, make sure to avoid uh, child labor and also they provide stability. They use the Montessori methodology, like Dora said, and also they make sure that when they provide the breakfast and lunch, they make sure kids 
uh, are not going to to miss or they are going to um not going to class because they didn't eat but also there are studies that show or demonstrate that when a child eats the brain works better and the understanding or reception of what you're teaching is better so uh, they will feel a lot of needs with all these uh, uh, service with this project they take in place. Uh, that is the most that, that we can say teacher and, and we consider this can be replicated. We've been looking information if they replicate it like in different cities, but it seems like uh, they have uh, one principal place, but this can be replicated easily in other communities. Okay, and this is a Salvadorian model then. Yeah. But it's just one place in San Benito? Yes, the um, main. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's the only one. Yes, we, we couldn't find any other, right, Dora? Any other branch? Any other branch, that's right. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, really quick, guys. Thank you very much, Ana Claudia. Thank you very much, Dora and, and Fernando. That was great. Thank you. Let me exit the sharing. Okay, really quick. Uh, something I have noticed, not just you guys, this is for everybody. Uh, we continue making this little um, mistake when we say, when we want to pluralize child, remember, it's just children. Children. Mm -hmm. Without children's, without the S at the end, it's children. Uh, how you, how do you call this little guys, you know, kids in general on their first stages? You call them to toddlers. Toddlers. Okay. Infant? Not infant? No. Infant? Uh huh. You can say infants as well, although it's not so common. Wow, you can okay. also call them first graders. Mm -hmm. Graders, first graders, uh, but that's specifically for first grade on elementary elementary uh, school. And then uh, the word you were trying to find is if they had implemented, implement, implemented this social program in other words, in another place. Since they are child, since they are children, since they are little, and the way I will have said that is from childhood. Uh, childhood. Yeah, from their childhood. We've mm -hmm. been looking information and, and this, uh, you need to work on prepositions, Ana Claudia. Okay. When we've been looking information, you're missing a preposition there, which is okay. look for. We've been looking for information. Okay. We've we've been looking for similar information or or additional uh, information. Additional right? information. That's right. Okay. Good job. So wow, they help these kids to become smarter, basically, not just by fitting them. I love the pictures that and, and don't Multiple worry. Sorry, methodology. Yeah, you know what? I was concerned about you showing kids faces on the class, but that's on social media. That's on Facebook, so it's public. They got the permission from their parents to be there. Mm, I don't know, but Most yeah. of the time, sometimes they make you to. That's a, that's like part of the program, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they need to make publicity to help other kids. That's true, mm -hmm. and to as we have learned, to to gather funds, right? Mm -hmm. yeah okay who's next group number two thank you guys um gracia jarvin and william hey that is a representation <laughs> so uh we were talking about ramen bank it's one of the examples given by the um by the book and it's their their lo lo motto is bank for the poor their mission is to provide comprehensive financial services to empower the poor to realize their potential and to break out of the vicious cycle of poverty in india 
are you have... presenting? I'm sorry. Yes, I am. Because I'm seeing, we're seeing your uh, workbook. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Are you on dual screen? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, let me a moment. <laughs> Can you see the presentation now? There you go. Okay. Maybe when you hit presentation, it goes, uh, there you go. Now it works. Go ahead. Okay. So, sorry, Grameen Bank, thanks for the poor. Their mission is to provide comprehensive financial services to empower the poor to realize their potential and to break out of the vicious cycle of poverty in India. They have a program of a collateral fee, a free loan of more than $35 billion to around uh, more than 10 million borrowers in India. Uh, since 1983, they are... They have been alleviating poverty and empowering the marginalized poor in Bangladesh through microcredit. Um, ha have they been implemented in any other uh, part of the country yet? They have 40 zonal uh, offices, 40 zonal audit offices, and 240 area offices. Uh, they have more than 2,000 branch offices. And now, as of May 2023, they have more than 20,000, almost 21,000 employees. Uh, they are present in 94% of the villages in India, and they provide services to nearly 45 million people, including family members. And um, well, they were awarded the Nobel Prize back in 2006 in the appreciation of its efforts to create economic and social development from the bottom of the society through microcredit. And as of today, they are currently at the front forefront of progress in every indicator on their the charismatic and dynamic leadership of its current board directors and management team. And some of the difficulties that they face, uh, here is Mr. Mohamed Yunus, the founder of Grameen Bank. Um, they face convincing big banks to loan money to the poor. And they also, he also faced being a middleman between big banks and local villagers, as well as personally guaranteeing their loans uh, for the poor. And uh, because one of the principles uh, was to conduct a business, uh, and, and one of the, the principles of Grameen Bank to conduct their business, businesses, it was different and often complete opposite of what the conventional banks established. So translating it to our society, to El Salvador, uh, we could also face that same uh, difficulties. And one of the things or one, some actions that we could make uh, in order to implement it and being successful is to extend banking facilities to poor women and men, create opportunities for self-employment, as we know nowadays, we see a lot of entrepreneurs uh, here in El Salvador, uh, for, uh, also for unemployed people in rural communities, as well as bringing the disadvantaged, mostly women from the poorest households within the fold of an organizational format, which they can understand and manage by themselves. What we were talking the other day about financial literacy, as well as reverse the age old vicious cycle of low income, low saving and low investment into the vicious, virtuous cycle of low income, injection of credit, investment, more income, more savings, more investment and more income. So this is what Grameen Bank is about. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> what a plus please. The last part, you wrote the last part, right? Uh, you... No, it was. No, I mean, it was together it's with great, William. Great it's just the, the last the last page i mean i was impressed i was amused by the last page what uh, was it part of the, your investigation yes okay Thank because I, I like that that dilemma you know of the poor income poor investment no investment wow now, I was well. I, when you were talking, and I was listening closely to what you were saying. Perfect speech. I mean, I don't have any feedback for you. You're amazing. I have to say it. But I was looking for real images of this bank. 
if you go to Google, guys, and you look for real images of this bank in 2023, you know what I'm noticing? The founder was requested to quit. I don't know what year, but I saw a title there that, that the uh, founder of the bank had was requested to um, quit the, the job. But the pictures, if you have seen how people live in India, mm, there's extreme poverty in, the, in that country. It's really difficult. It's overcrowded, overpopulated. and um, But it's very impressive to notice one thing. Hindus, uh, the amount of people they are, just picture this, they follow the same religion and they are very stick to it. They are very stick to, to their traditions so what i'm noticing on the pictures is that this bank is truly a bank for the poor and as gracia was saying uh this guy was in the intermediate the inter the uh, i forgot the word the mediator the mediator be between uh-huh gracia they call him the middleman the middleman that's right between big banks and to convince them that they they should loan money to the poor. What a task. What a mission. Oh, my God. That's impressive. I'm amused. I don't know. But any, any comments from the rest? Have you ever heard of this bank? Yes, I heard of the bank before. And uh, actually, we were the same. But in the first stage, in the first stage of the bank was in Bangladesh. It yeah. was uh, uh, about 10 years before that. Wait, wait. Tell us more about it, David. Thank you very much, Gracia. Thank you, William, uh, for your job. That was really good. Thank you. I'm going to leave David with you guys so you can start with your group's presentation, David. Good? Okay, yes. Uh, let me share. Uh, I lost my presentation. <laughs> Now oh, here it is in a, 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 the bank that is is heard and uh, okay was in in a, in Bangladesh the the first. Uh, about uh, 1976, uh, 1975, uh, the founder was at this time was a professor, and when uh, Grace was presenting, was doctor, PhD, I, I think. And uh, in the beginning, they focus on women. They start on women. This was the, the the first part of the project. Women and and uh, for that reason is uh, uh, the purpose is to to I don't know how to say that to alleviate poverty by providing financial service, particularly microcredit to the underprivileged, primarily focusing on women as yeah, that that what the start the purpose on, on, on women because the women are not uh, uh, no right in that part because it was specifically in Asia. In Asia, it says uh, there are no, no, the woman has no rights. And uh, I, I think it, it is, uh, he started working with a little, little amount of money, like uh, $10, $25, that was difficult to, for a woman to get that amount of money to do their, their articles. And uh, uh, this is the primary beneficiaries of the poor, and uh, especially women who lack access. Uh, the women with no, no have rights. They don't have uh, access to nothing. And uh, this guy give uh, the, the women, and, and in this stage of the project, they start, uh, he, he, this Junus start uh, to talking with the, the bigger band to uh, extend the, the project to other countries and to be, invest more money. And uh, they, uh, uh, he 
or the bank asked this guy that uh, he needs to provide them that this was uh, uh, well good for them to do that. And with this project in the, in the poorest zone of the Bangladesh, he could do that. And for that reason, he opened the, the, the gates for, for the big band to, to do the project in a, in a great scale. Uh, my partners, I think, having problems with with uh, internet. I don't know. And there is there, there is a story, and it's a significant impact on poverty reductions and uh, empowerment women in Bangladesh, providing sorry, providing access to credit and financial service. Uh, the story is like the story the. I, I remember I, I read something that the, the guy was through a market and saw a woman do, doing something like a, a carpet, something like that. And he asked for the price and it was so so cheap, so cheap. And, and uh, he asked the, the, the woman how much money uh, did she get from that work? And it was a, a little sense. Uh, in in dollars, but in the money of the country, some, something good. And uh, how much money she need, and and, and she and he investigated that they, I don't know how to say usura, uh, like uh, the the situation in our country. The, there are people in our country that, that go to the central market and without money, without nothing, and they find a guy, the, this guy, uh, lend them uh, $10. Then uh, they go buy something, sell something. At the end of the day, they they pay $11. And uh, uh, they're paying 10% daily. 10% daily. So they, yeah. It is a big, uh, uh, big interest. It was the same situation that in the... This guy can uh, get out of this situation, and for that reason, he can uh, work with the poverty. With the, the, they can alleviate this this situation for the people. And uh, strategies, uh, the business, social social business model. Uh, there is a. I think what the first time or, or one of the first time the 76 it one of, of the first time that this model was implemented in some country in some uh, company maybe there were another ones but uh, uh, this is done I I, I, I hear it this second strategy is the light to me because uh, they were in groups. Uh, they organize the people in groups. In this this group, uh, give help each one or each others, and uh, they they monitoring and they took a collective responsibility. And this strategy ensure higher loan repayment and uh, reduce uh, the risk. This is a, like the, the main strategy or the main uh, success of, of the model. And uh, another strategy is uh, government's empowerment, giving the, the access that they didn't exist to the women to this kind of credit. And, uh, uh, and this strategy is a, a good strategy to because uh, we talk about that uh, about three or four class ago about uh, financial literacy or literacy. And uh, this was important because one of the problem of uh, in El Salvador of the, I don't know how to say that, the reform agraria doing in the Duarte period 
It was they give the, the people the, the land, they give the people a, a part of the land, but then they train the people. The people was used to do a, a part of the of the the work, but not the whole. They can do harvest, they can do cultivating, they can do something, but not all. And the people without training at the end sell the part of the land they 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 gave to the uh, previous uh, owners. And in, in this case, the, the bank uh, give training, give training to the people and give uh, it enhances the entrepreneurial skills and financial management and the social issues and all of the they need to to success in the in the market. Technology, uh, this was uh, another part of the, the bank. And uh, uh, this uh, kind of the replication that uh, we see the model of race uh, in India, and uh, even though thinking in El Salvador, it was uh, a good for us that this bank came to El Salvador. So the same situations. And uh, there is a, a, a social business model, a, a focus on the women and uh, training the people, uh, working on the poverty with the microfinance, this is the idea teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, well, really quick, uh, to the chat on your Zoom chat. I have some little feedback here and just pay attention, just watch <laughs> the video again. Yes. <clears throat> numbers, numbers, 1976, 1976, 1977, 1978, 1979, okay, and so on. Focus, focus, focus. alleviate, alleviate, alleviate. Uh -huh. financial, 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 financial. Yes. Asia. Asia, mm -hmm. Asia, there, forget about the I, because many of you are saying there, uh, there, there, just like there, over there, there. The women have no rights. Women have no rights. Cuando generalizamos y decimos que algo es un hecho verídico, de manera general, como por ejemplo, los elefantes son grises, elephants are gray. At an article. Ahora bien, okay. the, the, the elephants, yes. the elephants I know are agree. The elephants I see every Friday when I drink are pink. My friend, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They are pink every Friday. Okay. <laughs> okay. The women. Okay. Asked. Asked. Asked, asked, talked, talked, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, walked, walked, walked. Cooked. There you go. The K comes here, the T comes on the mouth. Okay, usury, Us usury, hold on, usury, usury, usura, that's what the word you were looking for, usury, that's yes. new for me too. Something, Some. something. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There were other ones. There were other ones. Not another ones. Yes. Other plurals and other singular. Yes. Others plurals and other singular. Okay. And the last thing you said, agricultural reform or the farming reform. What will happen if here in El Salvador, we could loan a maximum of $100 to people who is proven to live in extreme poverty. What will happen if we could train these people and let them know how to manage their businesses? Something that caught my attention was a TikTok video I watched recently um, about India about a week ago. I saw it. There was a woman selling 
scrambled eggs on the street. I'll send it to you to your WhatsApp. But it's so, I mean, you stare at the video because she uses a whole lot of things to make the, the eggs on a little, a little um, pan, a little skillet, you know, it's very small. So she actually fries the eggs, but she puts a lot of things, condiments, Hindu, I mean, Hindu people, they, they use a lot of, I should say Hindis, yeah, Hindis, they use a lot of condiments. Have you heard about it? You can get sick if you're not used to a lot of condiments, you know, uh, you get sick. So it's so impressive. They, this this that you have talked about, about this bank, made me think about it, you know. So who knows, this person on the street selling scramble eggs made a loan, you know, because it's not expensive to buy um, everything that she was using. And this is the, the part that impressed me about this video is that everything that she uses to cook on the, on the street looks dirty and looks filthy, you know, like not sanitarily proper. I don't know how to say this, but not healthy. And innocuous. In, I'm sorry? Innocuous. Innocuous, yes. It doesn't look adequate for, for what she's doing, but at the end, what is, which is more impressive is that she doesn't use a regular dish, you know, or a disposable dish. No, she uses a, um, a leaf, a leaf. She uses a tree leaf to serve the food. And the, the, the client, the customer just takes the food with the leaf and goes eating, goes away. I mean, I'm like, Wow, there are so many things they're doing with eggs in India. Just go to TikTok, you're going to be like, I will never eat that. But David mentioned Bangladesh, and I'll look for a graphic. Uh, historically, by 2021, just in Bangladesh, there were 169 million people. 169 human beings in Bangladesh, I don't know what's the size of Bangladesh. That's too many people. Too many people. I don't know. Something to think about during the night. I'm staying with Fernando tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your class. Y señores, hoy sí le voy a jalar las orejas. Los que no han participado, yo entiendo que están trabajando, pero por favor, venimos a la clase a participar. Nos quedan dos semanas. Tengo que escucharles porque al final de este módulo tengo que evaluar y decirle a Insafor sí. Asoka. No, on Asoka. Nah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I have to give a report, you know, about you, how I see, you know, they participate, they're good students, they deserve to graduate and everything. So please, please do the best you can. We're only missing two weeks, okay? Okay. Good night, enjoy your weekend. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. You teach it. Bye bye. Good bye night. bye. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. And your teacher, good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Thank you, yeah. teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Frank. Wake up. Okay. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Good night. Good night. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Okay. Thank you. Good night, Iliana. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. I'm here, sorry. I got you, don't worry. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present, sir. 
Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. I see you as well. Hope you have a wonderful night, guys. Take care. So I'm here, teacher. Okay, good for just a minute. Let me take these guys out of the session. Okay, anyhow. So hmm. Okay. Bunch me. <laughs> hmm. What are your favorite TV shows? Easy. My favorite TV show? Oh, it's mm, Friends. Why? Friends is one of my favorite. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I I just funny with with the with every episode. So I just watch watch mm, a more than a couple of times. <laughs> and I saw in TikTok shorts with a uh, funny scene and I really I really enjoy but uh, I have a favorite show The Big Bang Theory is the other and I watch in, in, in TikTok sure because I don't have time to so, to watch the entire season so when I when I sit in front of the TV I put a two and a half men. <laughs> this is my my current show because I don't have time for pay attention to a new plot. So I I only watch a series that I watched in the past because I know the plot and it doesn't matter if I lost some minutes. And if I if I don't follow the the the, the complete plot. Because I know that, that I know what happened, so I don't have time for for new for new things. And I heard about new series, for example, uh, HBO has uh, Succession. Succession. I heard about Succession. I'll look for it. Succession. The Succession. Yeah, Succession. 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 Okay. Look, Succession. Mm. I have okay. never heard of it, but I do have I, HBO, so I'll I'll look for it. <laughs> yeah, I, I Sounds good. good series, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> My schedule oh. is very very hard, very busy. Okay, okay, let's go with this first part. I just find it with every episode. I just great job pronunciating that word. I just, I just have have fun. Okay, I just have fun. I just have fun. Repeat. I just have fun. I just have fun with every episode, you know. It's very funny. Fun. Okay. Repeat, I just have fun with every episode. I just have fun with every episode. Better. Episode. Episode. Okay, I just episode. have fun with every episode. Better. Shorts. Short. Hmm. Shorts. Shorts. That's the way. Shorts, 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 shorts. Short. Mm. Okay. Short. You did it again. Short. 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 Better. You're getting there. Short. Okay. Do it. Do it again. Short. That's the way. Bien. Tenés que cerrar un poco la boca. Shorts. Short. Mm -mm. La lengua viene entre los dientes. Shorts. Shorts. Ahí, ahí estás. Shorts. Ahí estás. Okay. Shorts. Shorts. Y es una Shorts. Sh sh shorts. 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 Mm. Se te va. Se shorts. Te va. Shorts. 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 Ahí, ese es short. Ajá, ahora agrega una S al final. Short. Ahí estás. Shorts. Shorts. Mira el video de nuevo. Ok. Next, this is my currently show. This is my current show. Current. This is my current show. Current. Yeah, not currently, but current. 
This is my current show. Yeah, this is my current show. This is what I'm watching right now. That's what I'm watching right now. That's another way. Pronunciation again. Things. Things. There you go. Things. 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 And David, David had a problem with something. The same thing, uh-huh. Thing. Uh, no. Thing. Think. Yeah, things. And I also La G, probably... G viene de acá. Things. 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 Uh -huh. things. Or no, no. Things. Things. I. Good. Things. Okay. Okay. Huh. That was good. It... One more. Still have some minutes. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What is the worst thing about your gender? What is the worst thing about being a man? Uh, the responsibilities. <laughs> oh, why? The, responsibility, the, the house responsibility. Uh, maybe uh, I never, I had never, I had never thinking about that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer, a specific answer. So I but you just said it. So the first thing you say is like a true, you know, like a real yeah. answer. So yeah, it, yeah. Why, it, why responsibilities? Why responsibility? Ah, I don't know. It's it's uh because you have to provide the food for the house. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But, I mean, but there... in my case, it's for for both my your wife works. Provide... Yeah, yeah. She works. Yeah, mine too. But still, we are men. And it's our main responsibility, even if our wife yeah. works. And yeah, but I have a couple that uh, provide too, and we have uh, the expense. Wait, so you have your wife and your like and a couple? <laughs> oh my god, you have your wife and your and a couple. <laughs> my wife and a couple. Oh, you, you're not getting it. No, la, I don't get it. La esposa y la la otra la significante otra cómo es the significant other. So, so uh, you're, you're three. You are three. You, your wife, and the other woman. <laughs> I don't know. No, no. I have seen, no, no, no. I have no, seen no. some some videos, you know, where the wife calls the other woman, right? And the other uh, woman goes like, did you like the car that I bought to your husband? Oh, yeah, the car was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, guess I, I watched. You've seen that, right? Okay, let's talk about that. That that was intended to be present. I have never thought about it. I've never thought about it. Listen to that. I've I've never never thought about, thought about it. I've never thought about it. Again, I've never thought about it. I've never thought about it. Thora, 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 about it, about it, Thora about it, Thora about it, Thora about it, Thora about it. I've never, I never thought about it, thought about it. I've never thought about it. I never thought about it. You got it. This works. Eso se llama la 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 um técnica del silabiado. Silabiado, sílaba por sílaba, regresas, agarras parte de lo que quieres decir. Practice present perfect. That's all. Okay? Present perfect. Present perfect. And this kind of uh, uh, contractions. I've, 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 I've about, always about... wondered. No, mm -hmm. I, I, if I practice in for syllable, syllabiado, syllabiado, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, how. Oh, I will be sure that I have the, the right pronunciation or the good pronunciation. Recording Be yourself and listening to yourself. But, but teléfono. if I'm not sure, te reto because... algo. Mira este video. Sí. Otra okay. vez, antes de verlo, ahí tenés la, la oración que estamos practicando. Ahí dice, I have never thinking about it. Bueno, escúchate a ti mismo. Escribí la oración. Grabate diciendo la oración como tú la dijiste. Luego, 
ves el video, practicas y repetís lo que acabamos de hacer. I have never thought about it. Y vas a ver la diferencia. Entonces, ¿qué, qué es lo mejor que puedas alcanzar en el, cualquier lenguaje, cualquier aprendizaje de idioma? Es uh, la autocorrección. De hecho, en la vida, si vos aprendes algo y te autocriticas, y eso de autocriticarse solo lo vas a lograr teniendo una base. Es como cuando aprendiste a hacer divisiones o multiplicaciones de tres cifras. Yo no me acuerdo. Yo tampoco me acordaba, pero hace poco me tuve que acordar a la fuerza con el niño. Entonces, tu cerebro tiene la información ahí, llega un punto en el que se le agrava la información y cuando tú te equivocas, hay una espinita y te dice, no, no era así. No, no era así. ¿Ya? Esa duda es la autocorrección. Entonces, poco a poco, si tú alcanzas eso, eso porque es lo mismo que aprender español. Cuando estabas pequeño, hablabas. Mi hijo tiene la costumbre ahorita, tiene 11 años, pero es muy hiperactivo. Entonces, se corrige ahorita. Y a cada rato está hablando y pues sí, que no sé qué, que no sé. Ah, perdón, no, quise decir esto y esto. Eso, eso es lo que tenemos que lograr alcanzar en el, en el aprendizaje del idioma. ¿Ok? Ok, dicho. So, si no te escuchas a ti mismo ahorita, lógico, necesitas una base. Entonces, ¿cómo agarras la base? grabate, preocupemos la tecnología les digo, ocupen el teléfono, grábense escúchense, leyendo algo y después meter el traductor y vas comparando darle play a las dos cosas te vas a quedar en primer lugar esa no es mi voz sí. <risa> pero ya. después le vas a agarrar Desde, eso con el traductor he intentado dictarle pero hay palabras que definitivamente no me las entiendo Vieras que yo disfruto eso, eso es uno de los placeres de la vida, poder hablarle a tu teléfono cuando vas en tu carro de 1978 y decirle, poneme tal canción, y que vaya alguien a la parte y te mire. ¡Uy, ¿Eh? Es Ay, otro rollo. ¿sí? Yo intento usar el asistente de Google, mi teléfono lo tengo en inglés, entonces tengo que hablar en inglés, pero hay cosas que no me las entiende realmente. Yo tengo pero... hablar el teléfono y decir, ¿what? <laughs> okay, Fernando, thank you for staying. I'll see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Okay. Thank you for all. Good night. Good night.